so I haven't done a PSA in a while and um, some things have been sitting pretty heavy on my heart and let's read this okay don't come into my life if you don't intend to stay you know ladies will try and pull this little this quick little lie here um, where gentlemen girls are the ones that move into your life not vice versa okay whenever a girl says don't come into my life she is the one who is choosing the men we as men we're not the choosers in the dating market okay we're really not um, girls are the ones that choose their partners okay so when she says don't come into my life if you don't intend to stay she's choosing men who aren't staying it isn't vice versa All right that's just a, it's a straight up lie right and i felt compelled to share it here because i'm sure there's other women that feel exactly the same way that i do yeah no kidding there's other women there's there's lots of other women who feel exactly the same way right they're they're upset you know where are the traditional men where are the men who want to take care of us where are the guys who will come over and, and fix our cabinets and hang stuff on the walls and, and do all these miscellaneous jobs around the house where is the guy who is going to come along and save me okay he first of all there is always a guy that would be willing to come along and save a single mother always all right but these women, they're still chasing Chad. They're still chasing the guy, thinking that they can lock down, you know, a guy who's over six foot, earning six figures and stuff like that. And what's, what they're doing is they're, they're shopping with money they don't have. These girls have overestimated their, their market value, for lack of a better word, okay? They are not necessarily worth um, those guys who, who have lots of things going in their life. And again, I don't say that to, to be mean, mean to the person. I don't say that to be rude to the person. But you've got to understand that a lot of these girls, the men that they want are out of their price range. Okay, men and women do not like the same thing. You know, you get these girls out here who think that, oh, I'm strong and independent. I've got a job. You know, I take care of my own stuff. That those are the qualifications needed to get a good man, uh, you know, or the guy that she wants. Those are, guys, do, men do not care about these things, man. Insofar as attraction, like uh, men don't care about the same things that you do. And let's just read this, right? Our hearts are not uh, are not toys to be played with. <laughs> you know, you, you might have sympathy the first time, okay? But when you see this for the seventh time of, you, you know, uh, if you're on a dating app, guys, right? Wherever your country, so, you know, you got the classic Tinder, Bumble, and then there's probably some others depending on where you live in the world. You will always come across these women who have in their bios, oh, I'm not looking for anything... Uh, look, I'm looking for something serious. I'm not looking for games. I'm not looking for, you know, I'm not looking for little boys. I'm looking for men. I don't want to be played with anymore. Um, I've gone through all these bad, you know, they'll, they'll write that kind of stuff in the bio. And all that tells me is that those are the men that they're selecting. If your past seven relationships have been guys who have red flags and, you know, who break your heart and stuff like that, maybe you're attracted to men who have red flags and who will break your heart. Okay. It is extremely difficult for any woman particularly a mom coming out of a marriage it is it is not difficult for women like I, i'm i'm sorry but it's just not um you know you can sit here and you can say okay it's it's difficult for ladies on the dating market before, because xyz um and this is not a pity party what i'm about to say here gentlemen but men have it 10 times harder w women have the dating market super easy they just have to make the correct choices. Just, just one correct choice. That's all they have to make. Okay, but you've got these girls out here making 20 bad decisions in a row and then proceeding to blame it on men. Women are the ones with the choice in the dating market. Men don't really have choice. Unless you're, you know, you're a top-tier guy, you're not going to have girls choosing you because make no mistake, that's, what hap that's what's happening. The girls are choosing, right? And uh, on that thing right there where she said, you know, I just came out of a marriage. Again, we don't know her circumstance, but if she left the marriage, okay, then it's all on her. If, if, if you know, if this girl chose to leave the marriage, every, it's all on her. The single motherhood, the pain that she's going through, you know, oftentimes these ladies can, they can choose a stable man, but they will throw him to the curb because, oh, they drifted apart. In other words, she's not attracted to him. She probably was never attracted to him. These, you know, sometimes, right, what these girls will do is they'll marry a guy. They know full well that they're not attracted to the guy. They, they know full well that they have no interest in the guy. And yet they'll do the vows. I love you. They'll get married to the man. 
they'll they'll have their kids because you know like they were running out of time so what they did was they went okay i need a man so they marry the first man who kind of can commit to them that's half decent right that she's like a third attracted to she'll try and marry a guy like that but she's not actually really attracted to the guy she just you know got to get the family out got to get the marriage out of the way and then once those things are done okay well you know we drifted apart and it's time for the fun let's keep going to open up her heart to somebody else <laughs> and i have now twice allowed myself to become vulnerable and been completely crushed by it translation I got close to getting Chad to commit twice, but I couldn't get him to do it. That's what, that's what the translation is here. You know, you ever notice how men don't use language like this? Really? Like we don't use, hey guys, um, you know, uh, I was in a situation twice where I let myself become vulnerable. Like, no, the translation there is she, she almost got a guy that she was attracted to, to commit to her. But uh, he wasn't quite interested, so and, and now she's heartbroken at that. Okay, and let's just read the text that she has going, because this tells a more interesting story than what she's actually saying. So if we go if we go back here, if you want to play games, get yourself a dog to play with, right? So she's actively choosing the men who play games, okay? And uh, let's go to the next one. And men wonder why women won't commit, have walls and trust issues. Gentlemen, let me tell you this. You know, back when I back when I was younger, I, I would hear girls say this, right? Like I would hear the girls say this to other guys. And they would say, Oh, I've got, you know, I've just got my walls up and, and you know, you're slowly breaking them down. Like I, I I've heard that phrase in my life, man. That just oh my goodness, that hurts to hear, right? Because guys look at that and think, oh, okay, well, she's got walls up and she's got trust issues. What that means is I need to show her how much I care and show her that she can trust me. Right, that, that's how we as men think. We'd think, okay, well, if she has walls, she doesn't want to be in a relationship with me because she has walls up and trust issues. Well, then what I need to do is I need to make her trust me, trust me, and I need to show her that, hey, I'm no threat, right? Like I'm just, I'm just a nice man, and I, I'm here to show you that, you know, with me, you're going to have no trust issues at all. I'm going to be fully transparent. You can look at my phone anytime you want, and then, like, that's how we as guys think, right? But what happens is. Uh, the girls have those walls because they re they repeated they're not walls okay first of all they are a sign that she's choosing this type of man right they're not something to be scaled right where we have to solve all of her little objections you will notice that when girls say stuff like this you know i have walls and trust issues the more that you try and solve these things the worse it'll be for you Right, this is why men in marriages, right, when girls say, oh, you know, bring up this stuff of, oh, my, you know, my previous partner was terrible and I just want a man who's safe. This is why in marriages and stuff like that, where you see guys try and try and assist that and try and go, okay, well, I'm not like the other guy. The situation for that man in the marriage will continually get worse. And that's just really messed up to say because it's, you're, you're being, hand this, this is a blueprint essentially is what it is. And you're, you're being handed it backwards. You see? been completely crushed by it to the point where I honestly rather just be alone because I can't take the pain that I'm feeling every single day. Let's read this. Excuse me. It says, ladies, know your worth. Keep your heart on lock. The right one will fight for your attention, affection, and love. Goodness gracious me, that is that is so backwards. I just, you know, these girls will sit in their car and they'll push the idea. And, you know, look, I've got nothing against the girl in the video. Don't go send her mean messages or anything like that, guys. Um, I, it's just really concerning when girls make videos like this, right? And dudes will come across it and they'll believe it. Like, I'm looking I'm looking at the comments right now. You guys can't see off the screen here. But to the right, there's there's people that I can see that have commented on the video. And we got we got dudes in the comments like, you know, who are empathizing with her situation as if it is not essentially totally self-inflicted. Now, again, her her, do, her man, the husband could have been out of the picture for some reason that we don't know. But, you know, we're just kind of making a generalization here. But when girls come out of marriages, marriages are not something you're supposed to come out of. Okay, they're, they're not. They're, they're till death do us part for a reason. All right. Now, if you want to come out of that marriage and you want to go and chase guys that have no interest in you, I mean, that's totally fine. It's your decision to make. But the, the crying, 
you know, the, the being upset about your heart being broken, I, I, I can't give you any empathy or sympathy for that, you know? And I, I don't think any guys should be doing that because it's your own decision, you know? And if you're a guy, before we move on with today's show on to the next video, gentlemen, if you're a guy and you're looking at a situation like this, it actually becomes pretty dangerous for you to sympathize and empathize with these situations. Because that's how they rope in the next guy to, you know, come over and solve all their problems, you know, fix the cabinets, fix her car, change the propane tank like we saw a month ago, a month or two ago, right? Like all these tasks, that's how they rope the men who actually are good and, and want to show that they care about a girl. That's how they rope all the good men in to do all their stuff for them and then treat them terribly. And that's that's the real concern here. But gentlemen, we're going to be moving on to with uh, today's show on to the next video. So I'm just going to momentarily pull this one up and hopefully I don't bugger it up. Okay. Now, this lady is going to tell us, you know, I believe it's her experience with a narcissist. Now, you'll notice that words like narcissist, a toxic man, terrible man, all of these things are thrown around so much that they essentially mean nothing. But, you know, let's see what she has to say. Okay, let's talk about something because I only have 60 seconds with you guys and I want to make sure I make this one count. There's something that happens after you leave a narcissistic abusive and what happens is people will come into your life and they'll start validating things about you that are real, that are true. Compliments as basic as you're such a great person. You're so amazing. You're so beautiful. Yeah, guys, you know, just, just the basic compliments that you're supposed to get every day. Like you're an amazing person and you're beautiful. Goodness, like the, the fact that I, <laughs> the fact that nobody seems to bat an eye, right? With these videos, nobody seems to bat an eye at the idea that these ladies think that they're entitled to be called beautiful and amazing people off the bat. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying they're good or bad people, guys. That's not what I'm saying here. But just notice how the default is you're beautiful and you're amazing is supposed to be an ordinary compliment, right? It, like, it seems lost on these people, right? That maybe you're not, maybe you're not the best person in the world. Okay, maybe you're, maybe you're not fantastic and maybe these compliments, right? Maybe if someone is withholding compliments from you, that doesn't make them toxic or narcissistic. Maybe they just don't see those qualities in you. Like, goodness gracious me, man. Like, imagine if dudes were walking around with the idea like, hey, yeah, you know, I'm just, these girls just won't give me the ordinary compliments every day of like calling me beautiful and an amazing person, right? Like, what the hell is that, man? And you start to really kind of be taken aback and you start to be like, wow, why would someone say those things about me? Because for so long, you're with someone who makes you feel like shit, does not validate who you are as a person. Listen to that, right? You were with someone who makes you feel like, I'm going to go back and play that again. I really want you guys to listen to what she just said. Cause she, when girls talk, they, they, she just told on herself is what she did. But look at it, that again. So beautiful. And you start to really kind of be taken aback and you start to be like wow why would someone say those things about me because for so long you're with someone who makes you feel like shit does it not for so long you were with someone who made you feel like like crap guys like you know it, it's so backwards because what the girls are trying to put forward is hey i'd really like a man who treats me well and yet their longest relationships in their lives are with men who do not validate them right like, you know, <laughs> it's, man, they're just lying to themselves. They're lying to other people. And like, I have to make sure I'm very clear about this, you know, because YouTube will come on down on this channel like a ton of bricks, okay? I'm not making, you know, I'm trying not to be rude to the people in these videos. You know, I'm, I'm only kind of dealing with their ideas here, gentlemen. Um, but those are some damn flimsy ideas, let me tell you. Okay, like, you know, just because a man doesn't give you compliments or he doesn't give you what you want or he's not a traditional man, he's not providing for you, does not make him a bad person. Okay, uh, let me say this real quick before we continue. A partner's job is to not make you feel good about yourself. That is not what your partner is there for. Your, your, this whole idea that society seems to push where like you're one half of a whole is incredibly unhealthy. Because what's that, the supposition behind that is, okay, well, you're half a person, you know, you're, you're, if you're missing your other half, you're not complete. And guys go around here walking around, I can't tell you the amount of questions that I get from dudes, you know, how do I get a girlfriend? I really want a girlfriend. Gentlemen, girls do not complete you and vice versa. Like, I, I, I don't understand this stuff of, um, I need, I need some, what I, what, like, these people feel bad about themselves, so they think the solution 
is to have other people give them validation and that's going to make them whole. That's not how it works. You're going to be the exact same person. You're going to feel, un if people validate you, you're going to feel unworthy of the validation. That's what's going to happen. Let's keep going. Not validate who you are as a person. And then slowly, little by little, you start to believe about yourself. But let me look at you right now and let's undo that inner voice that the narcissist created inside of you. Ooh, let's and together do it. we're going to do this. Are you looking? Yeah, I'm looking. Right now. You are a good person. Oh, thank you. You didn't deserve any of the treatment that you received. Oh, thank you. You are so beautiful. Oh, you're thank so you. You're so worthy Whoa. of love and adoration. Whoa. <laughs> you see what I mean? About the, let's just play that last bit once again so you can hear the compliments that she threw at random people on the internet, okay? You received. You are so beautiful and you're so worthy of love and adoration. What if you're, what if you're not beautiful and you're not worthy of adoration? You see? Like, when did it become the default that everybody's a winner, everybody's fantastic, irregardless of who they actually are? Right? She, she, let me just make this clear. She is saying this to her audience. She doesn't know anything uh, about her audience, guys. You, you know what I mean? Like, who is, she, like, if she's getting on here and saying that, hey, guys, you know, you're all worth the adoration. Maybe some people are not worth adoration. You, you get what I'm saying here, gentlemen? Like, it just seems like everything, um, it's all about making people feel good. And you know the thing about trying to make people feel good? is you can give people whatever, uh, before we move on to the next video. Why are you- Goodness gracious me. You know, you can give people validation, you can give them compliments, but if they don't feel that on the inside, it's actually disingenuous, right? You'll notice a lot of the time, if you call a girl beautiful, who gets called beautiful a lot of the time, but she knows that she puts on tons of makeup and that's why she's quote unquote beautiful, it, she's going to view it as a disingenuous because it doesn't line up with how she perceives herself. You see what I'm saying? Like if people get all this external validation you know, from other people, but they know on the inside they're terrible human beings, it just makes it's not going to do anything, right? And let's crack into this video here. And goodness gracious me, I am not prepared for this one, but away we go. Why are you single? I'm going to say this one time, okay? Are you listening? It could be because I'm an empath who is attracted to emotionally unavailable men and that I also view red flags as some sort of amusement park that will eventually spin me around in a narcissistic circle until I vomit and then spit me out with a brand new duffel bag full of emotional abuse issues. All right. Well, I'm just going to I'm just going to mute the rest cuz I think she says things that are not too friendly at the end there, but let's just address what oh my goodness. Let's just address what she said there. Girls, we'll, uh, we'll go through them one at a time. We'll pull all three up at once, okay? Alrighty, so we got at the top. These are the reasons why she's st still single, apparently. First of all is she's an empath. Okay, girls will try and pull this card, man, where they will say... <laughs> Look, er everybody wants to believe the good in themselves. Okay, right? Like, ev they just they want to believe that the reason why they're single is because they care too much. Right? And what that is, is they're getting into situations with men who are not interested in, in them. And so what the girls are doing is, oh, they're cooking for him. They're trying to they're trying to do all of these fun things, show him that, you know, basically what she's doing is she's putting on all the femininity up to max. OK, and then she's saying, OK, well, he didn't want to commit to me after that. Look how empathetic I was. Look how much I cared for him. I just care for people too much. No, you cared for Chad. You cared for a guy who didn't want you. The rest of the people on the planet, in, in most girls' eyes like this, man, they don't exist, right? They're, they're empathetic. They show how much they care towards Chad. They don't care about other people, right? This is, this is the equivalent of those people who you will go out with, right? And they'll treat the waiter like crap. But because they treat their date like a king, right? They think that they're an empathetic person. That's not how it works. Now, second point here, she's attracted to emotionally unavailable men. Yeah, all, pretty much all girls are. This this just varies by degree depending on how, um, how much their parents were in their life. So you will notice that girls who with broken family structures, um, this, this attraction will be turned up more. But in general, women are attracted to men who aren't emotional anyway. Um, but this kind of becomes more severe as the, as the family breaks down more. And this last one here is she's attracted to red flags. Yeah, most girls are. 
You know, uh, they'll talk about, oh, here are, the, here are the red flags that you need to avoid in dating, ladies. Right? If, if he's a real man, the green flags are he spends money on you. He invests his time in you. He shows that he cares. And all these are green flags. Girls, man, I'm telling you, you want to display those uh, quote-unquote green flags? Hello, man. Uh, you, that's a surefire way to run a lady away. But let's have a look at this clip, guys. We've only got a couple more, and then we're going to wrap up today's show. And, you know, I was going to jump into some Reddit stories, um, but I think we've got enough clips for the rest of this video. This is a short one, so let's see what she has to say. And I believe it's a little quiet, gentlemen, so apologies for that. Hello, Man Factory. Yes, it's me again. I understand your 50-something divorced, financially stable, emotionally mature men are still on back order, but I paid a deposit. No, there's nothing wrong with the younger models you've been sending me. It's just that I... Look, I'm not trying to care in you. I... Oh. Well, you should have told me you stopped delivering to Never Never Land. Hello, Man Factory? <laughs> These girls are so conf They're so lost. You know, like, lost is just the word you have to use. So let's look at the man that she wants here. All right, so let me just go back so we can see the text, okay? She wants a mature man. Uh, wait, 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 where was it? A 50-year-old, 50-something-year-old, divorced, financially stable, and emotionally mature man. That's, that's, that's what she's aiming for, right? <laughs> you know, something I didn't realize, like, I, I, that didn't fully come to me, um, is the fact that girls will actually, like, the girls who are in bad situations, they, they need, um, they need a man to come and save their life, like, they need a, a guy's money. Uh, what a lot of girls will do, actually, is they'll actually target divorced men. Right? Because divorced men are uh, uh, easy pickings almost because they know, right, he's he's going to be easy to convince. His his ex-wife, right, probably treated him like crap towards the end of the relationship, let's be honest. So a lot of these girls look at this situation as kind of like easy pickings, uh, which, is, which is kind of really disturbing um, to say. And the other thing about this, guys, is you've got to understand if you're an older gentleman, right, and you've got your stuff together, and I said this a couple of videos ago, maybe like last week, I believe it was, um, but you've got to understand that you as a guy, if you're, if you're a catch that is financially or otherwise, um, you are actually going to be a target for a lot of, for a lot of girls. Okay. If you've got a lot of money and stuff like that, um, you are going to be a target. And, and that's just the way it is. Like people want to pretend like men don't get targeted for this stuff. Okay. And it's only the girls who get themselves into cruddy relationship situations. Um, but a lot of men, I will say this, particularly if you're a guy with not a lot of dating experience, girls are going to be able to sense that from you. And they, guys, they will do something about it. Um, there are girls out there who will, I'll say it again, who will actively look for divorced men because they are easy pickings. And that, that's the way it is. And, you know, that's, that's kind of really messed up to say, guys, but that's just the reality of the situation. But let's jump into today's last video. All right, so... And uh, let's see what this woman has to say. She's a bit of a younger one. And I almost view this video as kind of like a, um, you know, a, a before and after, right? This is before and then this is after, okay? All right, so... In and this one might be a little bit quiet as well. So let's jump into it. All right, so in two days starts single September, followed by only me October. After that, no man November. Then, oh, don't date me December. Ooh, just me january to start 2021 off just right forever alone february yeah i got this all right so in two days you know girls will want to pull this um this card of i don't need no man okay which is totally fine right if, if girls say they don't need a man they want to they want to go around and they want to have their fun that's totally cool right that's their decision to make i personally could not care less okay but just notice the stark difference between this and uh this okay one is like it's all well and good to pass up your options and those guys who are texting you who show that they care and they they want to you know provide for you and, and be a good man for you you know a good um a good father and stuff like that you know you can throw away those men all you like okay but when you know 50 40 30 comes knocking and you want to turn around and you're in a lonely situation because you can't find a guy, don't be expecting the men to turn around and be like, oh yeah, um, I'm going to be a traditional guy for you now, right? And the funny part is these ladies will actually expect that of men. Like they actually believe that they're entitled to that. 
you know, oh, if a guy doesn't, if a guy doesn't treat me well, or how I think I deserve to be treated, then he, he's the toxic one, right? He's the bad one. He, he's manipulative, he's narcissistic, whatever kind of word you want to throw at it. Um, if he doesn't do all of these things, right? You'll notice that when you withdraw certain things from ladies, um, those are the responses that you'll get. So you'll get any form of shaming, you know, oh, you don't get girls. I don't want to use the, the word in particular I'm thinking of that starts with an I, right? Girls will throw around that term. If you, if you don't validate a girl, gentlemen, you, you will become like this, this evil, this evil man. Like for instance, when you're with, uh, if you're with a girl, right? And you don't validate her, a lot of a lot of girls are in relationships because they're not being validated, right? Make no mistake about that. Um, so a girl will be in a relationship with a guy who is not validating them, and then she'll cry about it to all of her friends, but she will still be with that guy like six months later because of the fact that he still hasn't validated her. And you will see this story time and time again, gentlemen. I mean, these videos they are not hard to find. They excuse me, they are incredibly common. Um, you know, and it's going to continue to happen. And uh, goodness gracious me, I just read this lady's username and it is something else. But gentlemen, I think we're going to wrap up today's show there. That is enough videos and uh, goodness gracious me. But yeah, gentlemen, if you like today's show, make sure that you subscribe on your way out. And as always, if you would like to support the channel, um, Locals has a fantastic option for that. But otherwise, it is totally free to join. Guys, YouTube is not a fan of channels like this. So if you're interested in, you know, not losing the channel down the line in case in case we do get banned for whatever reason, um, make sure that you are in the Discord and or the Locals. Both are free to join. And like I said, if you're interested in supporting, Locals has, has an option for that. But we're going to call it there. So as always, gentlemen, make sure you take care of yourselves. And I will see you boys in the next video. Peace.